Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and tvOS 17 was released to developers this past week, along with all of the other updates that were shown at WWDC 2023. So they released this along with iOS 17 beta one, iPad OS 17 beta one, watch OS 10 beta one and Mac OS Sonoma beta one. I have videos on every single one of those. So if you want to check them out, they'll be linked in the description. Now this particular update, many of you have been asking what's new in tvOS 17. If we scroll down the supported devices still continue for quite some time for older devices. As you can see here, it says Apple TV 4k and Apple TV HD. So those are the supported devices and this should be available later this fall, usually in September around the time of the launch of iOS 17 and the next iPhone. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what's new as far as tvOS 17. Now on the home screen here, you can see it looks a little bit different in the upper right. The time is there. And also you can see that there are six apps across the overall display this time before there were only five. Now we have six separate apps. There's also a new control center. So if you press and hold the button on the control on the Siri remote, you'll see that we have a control center. We have my profile picture on the right. If I move over to that, we have different profiles. And one of the nice things is, is if you use the remote app on the iPhone here, and then you go ahead and wake up your Apple TV using that remote, it will log into the profile that's actually assigned to the iPhone. So if it's me logging in, it will log into my profile. If it's one of my kids logging in, it will log into their. So it's a nice little feature that they've added with this update. Now, also, if we go back over, you can see here, we have different options. Of course, we have power off our Wi-Fi, our focus mode, or do not disturb in this case, sleep timer, audio options. And then here we have search. We have some restriction options as well as accessibility and even game modes or game controllers. And as you can see here, if we go to audio, if we go, we can see different options here, whether that's a home pod or something else. And if I connect maybe AirPods pro two, we have those new modes. So we'll give it a second to connect here. There we go. I have a new option at the top. If I go over to audio, we have different options for the specific headphones. Now I'm currently on the beta for the headphones. So we have noise control with transparency and the new adaptive mode that's available as well as conversational awareness. You can turn that on or off and you can also share the audio. So if you want to watch with someone together, we can also go back here. Let me disconnect the AirPods back in the control center. If we move over one, we have the option for our different setups as far as our home controls. So the home app is here with different scenes, our cameras and more. So if you want to actually change different lighting scenes or look at your home cameras, if you have those set up, it's available here. So some nice, really simple options that they've added to the control center. Also, one thing you've already probably noticed is if we scroll down here, we have FaceTime. There's a FaceTime option now. So if I click on this, You'll see, I have the option for users with the option for other. If I go to my iPhone and I click on my name here for the user, immediately it pops up and says continuity camera office. Apple TV would like to use this iPhone as a continuity camera. So let me do that one more time as it sort of failed there. Cause I didn't hit accept in time. We'll tap accept and it immediately connects. Now I need to set it up to actually use it as a camera. So you can see place iPhone to continue. Now I have the iPhone placed. It recognizes that and says iPhone is ready. It will expand to full screen and then give me options of who I can actually contact. So it's super simple. That way we can either contact people or we can go down here and you'll see center stage. We have the option for portrait, which doesn't seem to work all of the time. And we also have the option for reactions. We can turn that on or off where it will actually allow us to give maybe a thumbs up. You'll see there, it doesn't seem to work. Maybe it has to be connected to a call, but you have thumbs up. It will give reactions and center stage. So if I turn that off, you'll see it's not centered, turn it back on. It centers right to where I'm at, depending on where I'm sitting in the frame. If I move around, it will follow me. So you have that option. And also you can use continuity camera for one more feature. If we go to the home screen and we go over to music, Within music, if maybe I go to a song here, let me find a recent artist or recently played. If we go here and you find one that has Apple music sing, we'll play a song here. So we'll hit play. And then if we go over on our options here, you'll see that I've already got this turned on, but in our options for our actual lyrics, it will automatically turn on Apple music sing if you have the camera connected. So if I turn this on, you've got the volume of course, 
and then we have options for the camera itself. So we have none, we have filter, we'll give it a second. It may or may not work. And of course it's locked up in an awkward place. There we go. So we have some options in the background for karaoke where it puts the lyrics over the top of you as you're speaking. You've got a different filter, other ones here where you can have it just use AI to sort of remove the background around you. And we've got filter five. So these are all different options. If you want to use Apple music sing. Now, when you're done with it, with continuity camera, just tap disconnect on the iPhone and it will disconnect from the Apple TV. Now also there's a new option that seemingly is coming later that I wasn't able to find yet. And that has to do with the Siri remote. You'll be able to locate this using your control center in the future updates. So if we scroll down, we have our controller here, but there should be an option in the future to actually locate it. This is according to Apple and they give an example here on their newsroom press release where you would be able to locate the actual Siri remote using the U1 chip and sort of the ultra wideband to locate the direction it's in. So as we get closer, Hopefully it uses that and points us in the direction, but this should work on the Siri remote second generation or later. So as users get closer to the remote and on-screen circle grows in size to guide their movement. I don't see an option for this just yet. I looked in find my in other places. If it's showing for you, let me know in the comments below, but I wasn't able to locate it. I tried everywhere to do that and wasn't able to find it. Now we also have some new screen savers that will be here. So let's see if it's actually downloaded them within settings. If we go up to general here within general, if we go to screen saver, there's going to be new aerial screen savers. And what Apple says is they're going to feature stunning new locations, including Arizona's monument Valley and California's coastal redwoods. Now I have aerial selected. Let's go back and see if it actually works. So I haven't seen any new ones just yet. Let's scroll through here doesn't seem like there's any new ones downloaded yet, but in the future we should have some new ones. If you're seeing that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I've actually given this a day to actually download and I haven't seen anything at all, but hopefully we'll see those very, very soon. Now, another feature is if you have a home pod and you've got the new second generation home pod, there's something called enhanced dialogue. According to Apple, it lets users more clearly hear what is being said over the effects action in music and movies or TV shows on Apple TV 4k paired with that new home pod. It separates the dialogue from the background noise and brings it forward to the center channel. There will also be Dolby vision 8.1 support on Apple TV 4k and also third party VPN support. Apple says that developers can actually create VPN apps for the Apple TV, allowing you to connect to those. Additionally, there's some updates in Apple fitness. Plus if we go into the fitness app, we'll connect here, connect on my phone just for now, for an example. And if we scroll down, you'll see, we have the option for custom plans. This is something new that's in iOS 17 as well. And basically it's a new way for you to use fitness plus and put workouts back to back. Apple actually suggests workouts and meditations back to back seamlessly. And then also there's an audio focus mode, which gives you an ability to actually prioritize the volume of music or the trainer's voice. So if you're using this for a workout, you'll have more options. Let's go into the this one. And within a workout, if we go over to our audio selection, we have an audio focus mode where it says trainer or music. So depending on what we care more about, we want to hear the trainer more clearly. It will emphasize that voice or you can switch it to music. And so that's everything so far in TVOS 17. Of course, there may be a few more things. I can't wait to see what those new screen savers look like, but if you've found anything else in TVOS 17, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.